I don't know, but... Now, you know what you need, Chantal? You need to get your butt out of the Middle East. You need to go back to Canada, and you need to start living a life that isn't just a big scam. I mean, this is silly. You're, you're going to be 40 years old. You're out here, I mean, following some 29-year-old thinking that he's going to love you and marry you and make a life with you and whatever. Girl, come on. He laughs at you. He makes fun of you. I mean, why do you think you're over there with him? Because you guys are living it up? I mean, yeah, you really look like you're living it up. You really look like you're happy. What you need to do is you need to go back to Canada. You need to start putting in hard work. And you need to, if a relationship is really what you want, if that's your end game in life, I know it is for some people. If that's really what you want, someone to love you, someone to call you baby, someone to give you affirmations, whatever. I mean, slow steps. I mean, whatever. Get on the dating apps. Work on yourself. Get back to a point where you can walk for more than a minute without getting dizzy. I mean, that would, if I were that in that place, that would be my number one priority. Not who's going to call me baby when I put my head down at night. I mean, girl, come on. I mean, you're not going to be able to heal in this ev environment, let alone thrive. You're talking about energy. You're sitting here telling us how you're about to fall asleep. Uh, so you're getting help. And you want to dunk on Chantel? And that's why I think Shannon and FFG's chemistry is so beautiful, because they're so similar. FFG has to be the hero. That's why she has to always dunk on Chantel with something. Like, when she did the thing with F uh, BBJ, I stand on this. She did her big one. She did her big one with that one. Especially with the way Chantel was running her mouth, talking about FFG's dogs. and all. When I saw her pull that off, I said... Leave it to Chantel to have me applaud FFG. I was pissed. I was like, oh, this was so good. She trolled the fuck out of you. Oh, my God. So, just so we're clear, and you heard it here first. What happened with BBJ? Rescuing BBJ? The BBJ rescue um, to FFG will be with um, the 89 LBs are to Amber. You will always hear about it for years to come. Always. That's never going to die. She did her big one. She had to make it public. And for those saying, oh, it was for the money. I think you guys forget. I've said this before. Multiple things can be right at once. She did her big one and definitely helped BBJ. Because at this point, I think almost anybody's better than Chantel. But yes, of course it was for the money. If it wasn't for the money, she would have. she wouldn't have made it public. Of course it was for the money. Are you kidding? The bitch held the whole... She shopped for BBJ's collar on stream. She shopped for a cat to get a Gucci collar for a cat. Of course it was for money. But I'm not going to take away the fact that, like, at least she got BBJ. But yes, it was for money. Yes, it was for content. Are you crazy? That is her 89 LBs, bitch. She is never letting that go. That will always be content in some way. Isms. So... Uh, French fried girls should be worried because Chantal was threatening to sue again. Uh, shadowed that she might have returned to Canada to handle some other business, and she would handle that while she was there. Um, I would be terrified if I was French fried girl. So terrified. This is the woman who couldn't even make a vet appointment, and she's going to coordinate a multi-person lawsuit because she felt duped about her cat being given to somebody else. By her to somebody else. Um, but she couldn't tell you who because the selfish bitch wouldn't even walk down the stairs to go say bye. She handed it to Pete's. Again, many reasons we can't follow through with our commitments. So, um, And Chantal doesn't have much tolerance for distress or discomfort. If something isn't exactly the way she wants to eat it, she's not going to eat it. If it's not the right temperature, she's not going to eat it. Um, so you would think someone as large as her would be much more picky. But uh, we're being much less picky. But actually, some of the more morbidly obese people I know are rather picky about their food. And like other folks who deal with addiction, um, can get pretty nasty if they don't get what they want. How many people think that they've probably fought about food a couple times already? I'm sure he was fine with her coming over, but she probably, she farted out a bunch of promises initially that she was going to, oh, I'm going to go to the gym and lose weight and it'll be great and I'll be going to the beach and we'll be travel-beezing. If you're too fat for a plane, you got to do something. 
because now you can't even get out of there in a hurry if you need to. Um, there's no shame in buying two plane seats if you need them, but if you don't like that you need them or that you're cutting it close to needing them, whose job is it to change the shape of Chantal's body? Yours? Mine? A pill? Some Ozempic? No, it comes down to Chantal and what she chooses to do. At this point, she's had more resources and opportunities and access to treatment over the years that most people don't give a shit how she feels or that she probably can't handle all of her ADLs maybe on her own because she was always such a nasty, self-centered person that her discomfort brings people pleasure. We've heard of schadenfreude, you know, it's the same sort of thing. I don't. So we saw some boats pass by while we were hanging out by the riverside and decided after we were done hanging out by the river to see if we could find a dock and take a boat ride ourselves. On our way... It was his hard-earned money to try to buy her food that would support her health. And then either she ordered it without him or he came to reason of, look, I don't love you so much that $250 isn't worth risking your health to me. So if you really love me, Chantal, really, really love me, you'll go on there, eat yourself half to death, and give me the cash. So, I don't know. So and she wants privacy. Okay. And uh, where's your husband? Where's your husband? Where's your husband? Where's your husband? He's out with the boys. Thailand, from what I understand, has a very, very active sex scene. So, um, I'm sure he'll text you. But at any rate, this week we're going to... But she's sitting there, not a lot of people around, but it was the old eyes darting. Remember the outhouse? Or going for Burger King and then sitting in the parking lot, full face of makeup, looking all over the place to see who's looking and who's watching? She's out proud and doesn't care, but hawks like she's ashamed of what she's engaging in. So when she's sitting there with Sala eating, and there's people, you know, not a lot of people, because they go everywhere when it's closed. She's afraid of people, and they want to be able to film, and they're weird. They're weird. She likes getting attention, but standing out doesn't really... Like, I think she probably feels like people are staring, because they are staring. It's a spectacle. She's four times the size of a normal woman. So I think people are going to stare. That's That shouldn't be unexpected. Is it rude? Is it cruel? I don't know. Bottom line, it shouldn't be unexpected. And to act shocked would be kind of stupid as well. You've read about it a little bit and saw it on TikTok. Please look better after yourself. Take better care of yourself. If not you, for your husband that you told us you love so much, how much do you love him if you're willing to eat yourself to death? Because it's too difficult to try to get better. Beyond 36 hours. If you're a I'm not a 12-stepper, but the bondage of self. She's so obsessed with meeting her own wants and needs that she, to her inadvertently, steps on people and hurts people in that way. There's another side of Chantal that is a complete sociopath and pretty much doesn't care about feelings, doesn't know how to act. That's why we had the, the wedding cake and candles and she erupted like she was going to shit her pants because she doesn't know what happiness feels like, so she doesn't demonstrate what it looks like. She doesn't know love. She doesn't know any of those feelings. And so with all this spinning in her head, her marriage on the line, her citizenship being up, she goes on a diet. One, I'm pretty, okay? That has a lot, and I don't mean that to be conceited. I'm being very matter of fact. Being pretty gets you a lot of privilege. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you can get away with a lot if you're pretty. Number one, I'm pretty. Okay, guys, so this is the trailer um, for Femme. Um, it's been released in Europe, but it's out. It's a thriller, and it's a, I've seen it. It's a fantastic film. It is out in Spain, and it is out in the U.S., um, on March the 22nd. So here is the trailer. Take me. Take me. This is a big man, 
bitch, man. You. <laughs> well, you can't turn around if you're a fucking man. If you're letting them win. How do you want to deal with that? I think you're a nice looking lad. On your front. I'm a nice guy. If you disrespect me, fuck you up. This is your nose, Josh! I get that. Yeah? Yeah, I'm the same. Oh, you know. You're a fucking big man! I'm best remember not to fuck with you then. Hi guys, and welcome to Taylor Talk. So yesterday, I did a video essay yesterday, and I thought, well, because I've done a video yesterday that was like 20 minutes, I'm not going to do a video today. I'll wait for a few days until Foodie basically revealed that she's a scammer and that she was scamming people for plane tickets back to Kuwait now that she's got her um, visa accepted. So she's back to visa hopping and she's back to Kuwait. And like, I just need to say this. If any Beezers are watching this and you gave that woman money for a fake apartment, you're an idiot. You're, you're an idiot. There's, no, there's nothing else I can say to you. You need help. You're an idiot. You know, rule number one is Chantal lies. This woman is a natural born liar her whole life is a lie she is she's a natural born liar and the fact that you <laughs> that that you gave her money for this fake apartment and a fake new lifestyle you're an idiot and i don't feel sorry for you so let's uh let's start with the video <laughs> i'm going back to kuwait that's such a huge shock okay i got a bit nostalgic for canada but when i get here my feelings change when you get here you worry that salah is talking to another kybella that's what this is moving here feels like a step back there will be no going back to how things were i this this kills me this bit here i love my new life as a revert what what new life you don't pray you don't read the quran you only read it on camera you don't go to mosque you don't interact with other muslim women you don't do any you don't serve god you don't do anything as a as a revert all you do over there is is get high and and eat food on the floor that's it and I think you're doing stuff on the side for feeders, but I can't prove it. But like, what, what life is a revert? And I'm going to be doing another video about comparing, comparing foodie to actually real reverts, preferably women. Okay. And despite not being perfect, I will get closer to Allah, inshallah. The vibe in the Middle East is the best. The vibe where you, you can't drive and every time you need Salah to get you food and he says no, you're back to smoking and your hair's popping out of your hijab. Okay, that's great. Islamic countries are the best. If Islamic countries are the best, then why every time you get upset, you're crying on a live about how you have no rights and you're so and you're so confined over there because you can't drive anywhere without him. You actually can't drive there, so yeah, because you don't have a license. But that's a whole other story about how you broke the law. Supporters have threatened to unsub if I choose a direction in life they don't like. I say please leave. I don't need fair weather followers, but followers also don't need people who will lie to their face. But you, li she lies to you all the time and you still go back. So, like I said, you're an idiot. 
boundaries, people. If any of you who sent me money for my new place here want it back, let me know and I'll return it to you. No problem. We all know that's probably been spent on Nashies and weed. Like you're not you're not getting that money back. Again, guys, any Beezers that are watching this, you're an idiot. You know that money's gone down the drain. I've changed too much now to enjoy living here now. But how have you changed? You're still a uh, super morbidly obese, um, chain smoking, weed smoking, um, food addicted mess. So, you know, where's the change? Let me know. Whether you believe it or not, it's not my job to convince people of anything, but it is your job to give those people their money back. Like you can't just, t you, you took money from people under false pretenses. Anyway, my husband vowed to take good care of me and support me even more on my health journey if I return. I will take more of a break now and focus on myself. She always says that. And then she's like 460 pounds still sitting on the floor, you know, eating two burgers with one hand. See you. Hi, right, guys. So rule number one. Chantal lies. This is the same woman that told everyone she was alone on New Year's Eve when Pete creeped into the hotel room. This is the same woman that fakes diets and fails within two hours. This is the same woman that will turn around after everything and tell you that she's a fantastic pet owner. If you're a beezer and you're watching this and you gave foodie money, you're an idiot. OK, it's one thing just lying for hits and clicks and um, lying just to get more um, controversy and lying to get super chats. It's another thing for foodie to set up a PayPal account, lie and say that this will help get her a new apartment while booking plane seats back to Kuwait with that same money. She's proudly scamming people to get back to the turd burglar and it's funny that foodie says that canada feels like a step back but every time she argues with salah she goes back home you can't be shocked that she faked an apartment scam for money her views are low and she's not getting super chats like she used to especially after the animal abuse that's why she was crying because she knew that she was fucked if you're if you are a beezer and you are still giving this anti-semitic homophobic misogynistic cat abuser money because you think that underneath all that 400 pound blubber you still think that chantal is a good person you're a fucking idiot. There's no, there's nothing else that I can tell you. How many times does one person have to lie to you before you realise that they are a compulsive liar? Like, even her own mother is getting tired of this visa hopping shit. And what I want to ask visas is, aren't you sick of being used? Aren't you sick of being scammed and told the same bullshit over and over again? Beezers, you do realise that she's using you the same way that she used BB and Pete's, right? Emotionally manipulating and exploiting them for money until one, BB dumped her and two, Pete's went broke. So he was of no use to her whatsoever. Beezers, you do realise that she's using you as a Pete's replacement, right? The way that she used Pete's when Pete's had money and was in love with her and gullible enough to give her money and get himself into debt. Because Beezers, you're the ones that really need God. You're the ones that really need Allah. And I'm not kidding because I don't understand how you can proudly say that you support Chantal because she's not that bad and she's just misunderstood and she was just depressed and she couldn't take care of her cats. And that's not her fault because now she's misunderstood your, dollar, your dollars right back to her cheating husband of the year. And Beezers, if, if any Beezers are watching this, and you gave that woman one penny, 
one rupee, one dime, you're a fucking idiot. I don't know what else to say to you. You are an idiot. Carry on being used if that's what gets you off. Okay, so rule number one, Chantal and Salah lie. Don't forget that Beezers when she scams you again. Okay, guys, I ran over. That's the end of the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, you know, and I guess when we when we next see Foodie, she will be back in Kuwait. If you got this far, thank you for watching. Thanks for listening.